seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. We're at group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you. Behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Free Star Collective Space? Pure red. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Dreams of red paint.
readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? 
Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Client is here. Let's go. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated <laughs> enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the... Credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett?
Crimson Fleet hit us. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Come on. You're really not at all Curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. And Vasco! Don't let her break my ship! <laughs> It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case. There are any difficulties.
Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains.
on out to Captain.
The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control I'm interface, it just completely flipped out. Nearby. We could make use of it. It killed the Terramorph in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh, no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. That's, uh, not a bad point. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference.